Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to explain why the function is discontinuous at the given number a, and to sketch a graph of the function. So I think the most helpful thing to do will be to sketch the graph of the function first. So the first thing we can do is take the graph of 1 over x plus 2. We have to start with the graph of 1 over x, which is one of the functions that we had to learn the graph of in the previous chapter, and it looks something like this. As we approach zero, we go off to infinity and negative infinity. And as we go off to infinity or negative infinity, we get closer and closer to zero. And what we are doing by adding two, right, that's a transformation. We're adding, so it's a shift. It's within the function, not outside of it. So it's to the left or the right. It's positive, so it's to the left. So we're moving to the left two units. So instead of approaching infinity and negative infinity as we get closer to zero, instead we're doing that as we get close to negative two, right? function largely looks the same, it's just shifted a little bit to the left. And this is the graph of 1 over x plus 2. Um, if x is not equal to negative 2, that's perfect because this function doesn't even equal negative 2, so there's nothing to erase. And then at x equals negative 2, the function is equal to 1. Why is the function discontinuous? Well, a function is continuous if the limit as x approaches a of f of x is equal to f of a. Now we can see that this is the value, right, of f of negative two, right? This is equal to one. And we can see as we approach um, the value of negative two, as x approaches negative two, we can see not only is the function not approaching the value of one, it's not even approaching the same value, so the limit doesn't even exist. Therefore, not only does the limit not exist, it therefore does not equal f of negative two, and therefore the function at negative two, we can say, is discontinuous.